Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I want to go ahead and show you guys the new character that I'm going to be playing for a little bit. Uh, I'm taking a little break of my arc character because I think my arc miner is like level 94 or something. Yeah, 94 on the arc character. So I'm going to try out a new character because I've made a bunch of currency. So we got our, we got our chaos uh, stash back up again. And I ended up six linking a silver bow. I don't know what it's called. We're going to call it a silver bow. Uh, so let's go ahead and go into my links and everything. So currently for Caustic Arrow, I'm running a really OP setup because I've got a 6 link plus 3 bow. So I'm using Empower, Rapid Decay, Pierce, Conk Effect, Void Manipulation, and Caustic Arrow. Now, Caustic Arrow gets what? 5, 6, 7, 8, uh, plus 13. So I have a level 21 Caustic Arrow, a level 50. And for leveling like super low level, I use the Hidden Potential and I just use like all blue gear. But uh, as you can see, I don't really have any more magic gear except for this, so that's going to have to be replaced as well. Um, I don't really know. I'm pretty sure most people do plus three in Soul Strike, but I wanted to potentially try out a Blightwell Clutching Talisman uh, since Blightwell gives an insane amount of increased recharge rate while using a flask, and it gives global defenses, and global defenses is basically energy shield. Um, so it goes up to 24% ES, so that's 24% energy shield. I think global defenses may affect flasks like granites as well. Um, and the last thing, actually I can test that right now. And the last thing is that uh, I'm using, or I'm going to use a soul strike that has plus one additional arrow. It's not legacy or anything, but it still should be okay. And I may even use a beast for a shawl because... Um, Beast Fuller Fur gives energy shield recovery rate, which should also affect the recharge rate of like my uh, my Vault Discipline and just my natural ES regen. So, let me just see if this Blightwell Talisman works for a granite. So this puts me at 9k. Let me just take this off. It should go to like 11k if it works. Whoops, actually. No, wait, it does work. Right? It doesn't give increased armor. Yeah, no, no, it does work. So that's pretty cool. That's going to affect my flask then, which is nice. Um, assuming I even run a granite floss later. So let me show you guys uh, what it's like kind of level. And first off, I would not recommend leveling with Caustic Arrow at the beginning. It's not like, ter actually it's pretty fucking terrible at the start. But it, it could be worse. It's not so bad. But the second, honestly, you hit like level, I don't know, like, once you get hidden potential going, so maybe like in your 15s, maybe 20s, all you pretty much need to do is just like branch, literally like just come out here and grab hidden potential and then grab your area. It should be pretty good. And then uh, when you get to the point where I'm at, it's kind of silly at how strong it is. And I could make this significantly stronger too. There's just no reason at this point. So let me show you guys what it's like. So I'm 50 and this is a 49 area. Now we are using Pierce at the moment. I'm probably gonna swap Pierce for, um, let's see. I'm most likely swapping Pierce for slower projectiles because it has a higher multiplier and then I'm probably going to use void walker boots so I can get a hundred percent pierce chance that part's still debatable I'm pretty sure I'm going to use void walkers though also on a side note the MTX for caustic arrow looks pretty badass that's kind of the reason why I wanted to do this in the first place it also has kind of a bit of a ramp up time right because you've got like caustic arrow and then you've got your Curse for Vuln, and then you've got Wither Totem and Vol Lightning Trap, which is pretty cool. They're like all multipliers for it, so that's pretty awesome. And it looks like we're going to be running... Wait, did I not talk to her? It looks like we're going to be running uh, Temporal Chains, plus we're going to be running uh, Vulnerability on Blasphemy. I may use a Witchfire Brew. Honestly, I'm probably going to use a Witchfire Brew even if I use Vulnerability because it's going to give me like 95% increased damage in a flask, which I think is like pretty fucking high. Um, so I'm definitely looking into using something like that, even if, I don't know, it really depends on how big the Blasphemy nerf is because I'm going to try to scale as much AoE as possible. I could get like Leadership, I could grab Hexmaster, uh, I am picking up Sovereignty. So we'll see like how far I can get the AoE to scale. Maybe I could run like an Arctic Armor setup too. That part I'm not really too sure about. I have to like, I have to kind of flesh out like my mono reservation and see when I'm running again. Oh, I forgot to get my key. Man, I'm like all sorts of disarray today. This is what happens when you just wake up at uh, 8 o'clock in the Bye. afternoon. Alright. Nice. Nice. 
What else? Um, the Occultist Ascendancy is going to be super cool because we get the Wicked Ward, which gives us like the crazy ES recharge rate and 100 flat ES, which is always nice because we're using a Quiver. So that basically puts us at like a 220 ES shield with Soul Strike. Um, we also get the uh, minus Chaos uh, Chaos Res Aura, which is nice. And then we'll get like the um, plus one max curse on the left side. But I think leveling is going to be pretty much a breeze from now on because, um, I mean, everything pretty much insta-dies at this point. I feel like a lot of the builds I play have, like, a snowballing effect. They suck really bad, like, the first 20 levels, and then they just take off all of a sudden and go, like, yo, bro, why are you mad? I'm trying to imagine what it's going to be like, though, with, like, plus one max arrow. So I'll have two arrows, and then 100% pierce chance, because every time... Caustic arrow pierces, it will leave a poison cloud. And the poison clouds don't stack, but for mapping and stuff, like imagine shooting into a shrine and it just pierces the whole way through the shrine and it just kills everything. That sounds beautiful, man. On a side note, I've leveled this character with zero life nodes. I've only put in points to hybrid. <laughs> and everything's been going out okay so far. I'm probably going to go CI around like 55, 60. I was thinking of trying out another Ascendancy class, like maybe Trickster or something. Potentially Scion, but I think that Occultus is just so good. In the current meta, I think Occultus is just like so strong. Is that a 6 socket at level 50? Feels good, man. Bandits, of course, are going to be pretty pretty similar. Uh, I know people always ask for bandit rewards, but ho hopefully eventually people understand how to scale characters. If he goes CI, 99% of the time, you are going to kill everyone in normal. Uh, with pretty much any character you play, there's like a 80% chance that you're just going to kill everyone in cruel too. Um, if you want to help them, you always can. It doesn't really matter that much. It's just a skill point. And then last would be... If you use charges, then you help the corresponding bandit in Merciless. So this character would be kill all. It's probably going to be kill all all throughout the whole way. Alright, let me pop back. I just want to slightly go over my tree and show you guys kind of what I did. So I started off Witch, so I went right to Deep Wisdom. And then I actually grabbed Blast Radius, came down, Hidden Potential. Uh, then I went across, grabbed Growth and Decay, because that's some deeps. Moved down, grabbed Sniper, Fangs of the Viper. I personally got Coordination, because I am I really like the attack speed. Same thing, I'm going to be coming down here and grab Harrier, because I'm I'm probably going to get a Jewel. I'm Actually, yeah, yeah I'll still grab Harrier, because I, I want Leadership. But uh, I think the attack speed is really nice. Um... It just makes it feel more fluent. Nobody wants to, like, attack with a slow weapon, you know? Then I came up here, grabbed Written in Blood, picked up Atrophy, and then I'll be going over here to grab Infused Shield with CI later on. Uh, and then we moved across like this. I grabbed Early Flask Effect because it's not really bad. Uh, my build is going to rely on it quite a bit because that's how I get majority of my defenses and quite a bit of my damage. Like, you know, Sulfur Flask turns into, what, like 55% or something? Uh, maybe a little higher on the increase of damage, which is pretty cool. Let's see, Caustic Arrow is 4,700 per second with a uh, Sulfur on it's 5,200, which is pretty nice. Um, and then I moved across and grabbed Corruption, and then I'll move, like, Spread and grab the rest part, or the, uh, sorry, the rest of the tree. But I don't know 100% where I'm going because I've never played Caustic Arrow before, so I don't want to lead you guys to the wrong area. But this is what we've got so far. I think I'm grabbing Arcane Focus, and then it's going to be 5 points for CI. Alright boys, so that's pretty much about it. Just wanted to keep you guys up to date with what I'm doing. On a side note, hype for uh, Risk of Rain Risk of Rain 2 that just got announced the other day. So that looks pretty fucking cool. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty much out. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you boys enjoyed yourselves. And if you did, as always, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And remember you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash pox. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. And I'll see you boys all tomorrow. Take care everybody.